Howdy all you delicious people. Today I just kind of just I just kind of just thought I was like, well, what the heck? How about how about I just do a video of Marvel Strike Force? Just kind of just do it today and just kind of um get it uh get it on, so to speak, and and talk about some kind of things. And what have you? Reasonably, I had made a little uh, kerfuffery in the last uh, the last video. I had made a uh, I had made a mistake. Evidently, I heard or I thought that supposedly the entire Fantastic Five, if you want to call them that now, are probably going to be the key to unlocking. Black Bolt, evidently now it's going to be all the Asgardians that are going to be uh, unlocking Black Bolt now, which I'm like, okay, great, great, uh, how s stupid is that? Uh, a lot of people won't probably get it, uh, get Black Bolt the first time around, uh, because a lot of people would not have taken the time to get all these Asgardian characters. And some will probably be harder to get than others. Uh, a lot of people might not have gotten Hela because they couldn't uh, do all the blitzes to get her and what have you. Uh, reasonably, I think uh, I don't even have Thor. So again, uh, what is kind of the point of, of Black Bolt? I don't have Thor, so if you don't have Thor, what a waste of time that is. Uh, so yeah. I don't have Thor, so what's the, there's there's no point in like and I'm like I think I'm like 35 shards in right now to get Thor. Uh, one thing that I'm okay reasonably with knowing is that the the milestone orbs right now have Coulson in it, so I'm like okay good. So we're not completely uh, effed if we couldn't have gotten Coulson in that milestone thing. Uh, I can't help but still think that I'm like 60, 70 some on shards away, so um, yeah, I don't see me getting that character anytime soon. It would have to be the luck of the draw, where I'd consistently have to get drops of Coulson, and I don't think that... Uh, that kind of luckily happened kind of for Captain Marvel around a certain time, but it took a very long time for that to start happening. So... In the video, in the beginning of the video, I'm gonna kind of, uh, kind of unlock these orbs and see what exactly they will be. Uh, more than likely, they won't be anything to really add on to what I'm doing. I doubt it. Uh, more than likely, this premium orb will probably be. I'm assuming that this premium orb is probably going to be some kind of either like a uh, beginning level character that you would get in the beginning, like a Daredevil or an Iron Fist or a Luke Cage or something like that, or probably like a Hydra character or a mercenary character. That's usually what's been popping up for a lot of um, these premium orbs. It's like nothing characters that uh, I can't really add anything to the premium orbs. So let's hope for once I'm different uh, I'm I'm wrong, so let's see what we get for this premium orb. Yeah, <laughs> Electra, basically a person you could have gotten right away. I was close. I said Daredevil. I was so close. I said Daredevil. Uh, cause yeah, that's kind of what usually has been happening lately. Um, let me get a Hydra person. Ah, oh, no, it was a mercenary. Oh, who would have thought, right? Ah, uh, man, if only I would, like, I remember before when I used to call out the, the exact number of payouts for things, and it would just be hilarious how, like, I could just easily call everything out. Um, but yeah, so anyways, uh, reasonably, I guess some of these power cores might be enticing if people have not unlocked these characters yet. Uh, reasonably, Pyro and Ravenger Bruiser you can get in war. <laughs> so what is the point of that? Uh, I guess if you already clicked on this and whatever and uh, you're just kind of a couple shards... I, I would say wait. I would say wait. 
God, why do they always have it on these power core things? There's always people you can get somewhere else and you can get them easy, easily, easier than like wasting power cores. Um, Green Goblin, just kind of wait till the, you can get them in the story. Then you can grind all day long and you won't have to get like five shards. Uh, but I guess if you're close to starring him up, then I guess go ahead. Uh, reasonably, I had grinded in the Cosmic Story um, to be able to unlock the storyline for, luckily enough, because that was freaking tough, uh, for Scientist Supreme. Um, so eventually, I will be able to auto-win through that and eventually, at some point, um, probably unlock this character. But I guess since we can do that now, I guess let's see. Oh, we got one payout, so we probably won't get any more, right? Oh, we're getting two! <laughs> two payouts, what a miracle of life. Three payouts, wow, this is like... Go for four? No, I didn't think so. Uh, ah... Uh... Well... 15 more shards to unlock this character, and I'm good. I probably could waste another 50, um power cores to try to see if I can get closer but what's the point uh you kind of get one shot in and whatever um so eventually uh eventually I honestly should just get aim infector rather than get Thor at this point even though what is the point of aim infector but also kind of what it other than like unlocking black bolt what is the point of Thor either um but I am kind of uh, slowly but surely hoping that eventually I'm kind of uh, four or five notes away from being able to get into the Black Panther storyline. So I hope I can be able to unlock Black Panther. Uh, if eventually we actually get a Black Panther Blitz, not or, and not one of those stupid alliance things where we can possibly... God, those things are god-awful. Get rid of those, game. Like, I would rather see Minerva... Or Miss Marvel or Black Panther or whoever in a Blitz store, rather, or in a Blitz thing, than you giving me Hawkeye 80 bajillion times. Good God, give me Black Panther in a Blitz instead of that stupid Alliance thing that I can never get to because I can never add up points to eventually get into Alliance to be able to get a freaking lick of anything um, to get more Black Panther shards. Uh, it never adds up to me getting any, um, it never adds up for me to get any, uh, shards for any of those special alliance war events. I would much rather get any number of these characters in a blitz instead. Instead of Hawkeye or Iron Fist or whatever, whatever the F goofy character that I honestly don't, um, in all actuality has been done uh, quite frequently lately, in ridiculous measures. Give us another Colossus Blitz. Give us another, um, give us another, like, actually look into your players and actually ask them if there's Blitzes that people are very close to getting shards for. Like, a lot of people will probably ask for Black Widow. A lot of people will ask for Minerva. A lot of people will ask for Colossus. A lot of people would probably ask for any character that isn't probably some kind of bizarre like legendary and what have you. So I'm sure a lot of people would reasonably ask for reasonable characters that you never um, give them. So why not give them another shot at being able to um, get characters like Minerva or, or, uh, or Colossus or Coulson even eventually I'm sure down the road. Um, but yeah, other than that, or maybe even like Graviton, which I'm 30 shards away from, uh, I guess would be nice. But reasonably, uh, I think if I went all the way through the entire Blitz, who knows if I could lock, unlock, uh, Graviton either. I don't know. But anyways, that's kind of my update. That's a little bit of my gripe. Otherwise, um, yeah, as you can see... If you guys watched my playthrough, the last playthrough, yeah, I didn't unlock Star-Lord. And I had a gripe about it. I was super salty about it, and 
Uh, if you still ask, am I still salty about it? Yeah. Um, so reasonably, I don't know. I think we're kind of... I think there's some stuff that really... Uh, and I'm going to start doing some blitzes and stuff here. I'm not going to go through the daily objectives. I think I'm, while uh, videos are uploading for the day, I'm going to go through the daily objectives, clear all those out. Um, but I'm going to kind of just do blitzes and kind of just give you guys my thoughts. Because we gotta get uh, supposedly closer to Miss Sinister, Mr. Sinister, which uh, will be irrelevant, right? <laughs> because even if you go through all the way through the Blitz, like you still have to um, like be in the top tier percentage to reasonably get anything. So it's kind of just unless they put them in a, a store as an afterthought, then you're not gonna get this character. You're not gonna get this character. It's probably gonna end up in some bizarre. Uh, part of a store that honestly doesn't make sense. Um, and whatever happened to... Whatever happened to Beast? Like, I'm not even going to give a crap about Cyclops anymore. I'm going to ask about, like, Beast. Like, supposedly we were supposed to get... God, what kind of teams are these? Let's go with this one, I guess. I guess we have to forcibly go with... Even though, even though that's probably, like, the stupid decision to make. All those other teams are god freaking awful. Uh, but anyways, yeah, um, so, reasonably, there is freaking just too many new characters going on right now, so I think, like, I think we need to, in some form or fashion, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit too, uh, speed this up, yeah, um, but yeah, for reasonable... Like somebody has some some of these legendary characters have they have to do something different with them. Like they like they did one thing different with Iron Man, but that's like it. So <laughs> like are we reason to believe that like Iron Man was the only character that Marvel Strike Force no longer cares about? Uh I don't I don't really get it. Um like, they've, they've gotten all the profit that they possibly can off of Iron Man, and, like, that's it. I, I, I just don't get it. Um, so, yeah, I just... Kind of looking at it from a perspective of, like, okay, then... Like, what are we going to eventually do to... To just go, okay, for, hey, for some of you beginning players... Like, we're going to throw you a bone. And for some of the people that it took them forever, 11,000. Yeah, I rarely get that. Awesome. Great. I usually get, like, I usually get kind of a little bit of, a little bit blower of that. Blower of that. Blower. Blower of that. Blah. But yeah, one person that I eventually want to... Like, I really want to get all my supernatural characters or, like, Asgardian characters. I want to get them uh, up a little bit more in power. Uh, reasonably, I won't be able to star them up, and but reasonably, I want to kind of just get them just overly, powerly uh, golded up. Because reasonably... Um, and I think besides... I'm really doing well on the front of being able to star my characters now. But then gold goes away. Uh, so yeah, it's just like, God, the crunch is real. The, the, God, this sucks. It's just like, you, you can like get somebody more powerful and not have to spend like so much gold. But then when it comes down to stars of a person, like, yeah, you have to get like a lot of gold to be able to star a person. Like there was so many like, characters that I would leave unstarred just because I didn't have the money, the the gold to be able to um, get them starred. And so, I don't know what Marvel Strike Force is doing. We have, we have too many characters and not enough gold to go around. Um, so, yeah. Like, they have been doing that gold blitz with stupid Hawkeye, which I'm like, God, that was dumb. Like, why do, why do this kind of thing as, like, there's no... Like, yeah, you can get gold, but 
<laughs> like, it's like, yeah, you're... You're getting Hawkeye! Sure, <laughs> whatever. Hey guys, you're getting Hawkeye! No, no one cares. <laughs> but you're getting hot. No, no one cares. But guys! No, <laughs> just stop. Actually give us a character where it has incentive to actually... For us to be enticed into doing things. Shouldn't that be the way this thing goes? Is like, you gotta make it enticing for someone to play all the time? I don't understand that at all. Hey guys, don't make this enticing. <laughs> don't give anyone an incentive to be able to play this. Yeah, because I heard... I heard there's another freaking uh there's another freaking Hawkeye blitz coming. I'm like, "Really?" <laughs> there's a like I think there's another Hawkeye blitz coming in between like Scythe and then somebody else. And I'm just like So in other words, like yeah, I could probably like seven star up my Hawkeye, but I just don't want to. Uh I would I have like two stories in in the in the the story campaign, where eventually, slowly but surely, um, I can kind of just like play those things every day, and then, like, yeah, there's no incentive to play a blitz. Then it's like, oh, okay, good. Then I don't need to do this. But I'm a person that enjoys blitzing um, more so than a lot of like I can't get through the story right now. So. Um, I am st I'm like very slowly but surely to a crawl kind of getting through like just kind of it takes me an entire day to get through one level um just because I have to come up with some kind of like strategy now it's not just something as simple as like well yeah I'm just going to go and um I'm just going to go and put my highest tier people in there and just blow everybody away no like it takes a lot of like like, okay, I've been playing this level so many times and doing it this way, and and I've been getting closer to 100%ing this, so what am I going to do now? Like, okay, maybe I should just shoot this guy instead of going after, like, it's a very chess piece-like move. Just be like, oh, what happens if I take out this guy instead of going after this person? And... And surefire enough, like, that will be something as simple as winning and losing. So, yeah, uh, recently, like, right now I'm kind of chillaxing about this game. And kind of heartbroken about that Star-Lord thing. <laughs> Marvel Strike Force, make it up to me. No, yeah, right, like, they'll be like, yeah, we should. No, they won't care. <laughs> Because recently it's just like, oh, that's one, uh, that's one more player that, like, hey, wait till next year. And I hate that expression. I hate it. Like, I guess I should go on all these, like, Marvel Strike Force things and just be like, yeah, this is the lowest tier that you should go on to something to beat this. And then I won't even try to do the event until I get, uh, to that aspect. And then I know I can guarantee myself. That, okay, I'm gonna beat this thing, but no, like, that's just not enjoyable. <laughs> that's not a enjoyable aspect of the game to just, like... Then you know you can get guaranteed win. And it's like, you might as well just give me the character then. If I have to try to rig it by, uh... Getting the consensus of what is the lowest tier person to be able to go through this legendary event and win. Um, yeah, it's, it's silly. It's, it, the game's no longer fun at that point. Um, just like kind of going consistently through the same event numerous times just to get shards of characters. It's, it's silly in that aspect. But I am so close to Black Panther, I can taste it, which is weird to say.
But man, I, I can't wait till eventually I can get through a little bit more of the the cosmic story, eventually unlock Black Panther, and then he will um him and Shuri are the only two are the only two uh characters that I need to be able to uh get the Wakanda team together. And that's that's kind of what I'm beefing up the Sinister Six for. Uh, beefing up in the sense of only getting them stars. Because I don't have enough gold enough. I don't have enough gold to be able to um, actually train them. Like if you guys in the beginning of the video, while I kind of talked about things, if you guys looked at my gold count, you just be like, man, that's really low. Yeah, I can't even put like one level of gold on people right now it's just like to train someone is like to hit a button once and just be like i guess that's training for the day because there's not much else i could do uh there's there's not much gold i can spend um and i haven't really been spending like like i've been trying to avoid spend gold spending gold um yeah like, I kind of have to get through blitzes to be able to get gold, to be able to... Yeah, it's, like, it's crazy. Like, there's not enough gold to go around. Uh, there's not enough gold. And I know a lot of people are like, yeah, I hear ya, it sucks. <laughs> or a lot of people are just like, well, that's because you spend it stupidly. Well, yeah, because you have a boatload of characters. Like, there needs to be some kind of gold surplus to adjust to... Uh, there being more characters in the world. Like they, I think they did add in more um, blitz slots, which I appreciate because there's more people. And I think I complained about that in one other game and I'm gonna die here. Normally it ends up Cap'n and, Cap and Hulk, Cap'n and Hulk in this team. Cap'n, they're, they're busting caps. That's what they're doing. Come on. We're gonna die, I know it. I realize that. I realize that game. But yeah, so reasonably, it's just... Things are still going well, but it's going a lot slower than I want them to. Um, I'd rather, like, get the character and get it now instead of having to, like... Okay, whoa. <laughs> like there there needs to be some kind of like speed up for something. There's there's gotta be some kind of There's gotta be some kind of quicker way for something in this game. There's gotta be a quicker process of being able to get things. Anything. Like one character or um like how you can kind of like while you're unlock while you're getting uh like say for example it would be kind of very much interesting if i could get like two characters in one kind of deal where i'm just casually just kind of doing a blitz or whatever trying to get a character and then all of a sudden while that's going on um i miraculously can also unlock another character simultaneously uh, which doesn't happen that often. Um, or there's something that ties in being able to, like, how... Like, I guess the Halloween event is a bad example because reasonably the only thing that you could really get that get from that was realistically just, like, Ghost Rider. Because there wasn't anything that you would get extra shards from any other character. It was just like, okay, you guys can all just get... Um, through all these blitzing, you guys can get, um, you guys can get a special orb deal. It was kind of like they could have made just Ghost Rider an event, uh, because that's kind of what it was. It was very elongated, stretched out event, uh, that was just done as a blitz way of doing things. But I don't know, I think also that... I think what would probably increase incentives is if they kind of do more stuff like that in the future. That like I I really enjoyed that Ghost Rider event. Like I I I liked how it was for blitzing and whatever. 
Um, you could casually get certain characters, but the characters that were kind of presented in the Blitzes, I did not care about. One lick of nothing. Um, so I really enjoyed uh, the, the Ghost Rider event. I wish they can kind of keep that going. Uh, because that, to me, was really fun. I enjoyed that. I was, like... I was having a good time with that. Uh, yeah, it seemed like I didn't sleep for, like, three days or whatever to to be able to um, get the things I needed. But at the end of the day, luckily enough, because uh, some people weren't lucky at all. Some people didn't. Some people are just like, oh, great, this is just going to be another character that I'm going to have a hard time getting. And he's probably not going to be on a store anywhere and whatever. But I guess ultimately... They can kind of just notch it down to, it's like, well, we gave you so many chances to be able to, like, any kind of chance to be able to get this character. And, like, the only thing that I didn't like about it is I wish that, like, I think there was, like, I think what hurt me the most was the, God, I'm, besides being hurt here, because I'm going to think I'm going to die again. What kind of hurt me the most with, like, the... Colson thing was just like there was no blitz like there was no blitz usages in yeah i'm gonna die great that's <laughs> just <laughs> oh god uh yeah i'm gonna get slaughtered here anyways so like kind of what have, what have really would have helped if that colson thing would have had blitzes in it then i'm like oh yeah i'm here i've unlocked colson <laughs> Because how crazy I would usually go for blitzes regardless. And then to have that like added incentive of getting Coulson with these blitzes. I would have probably like, because uh, with the like Halloween, with the like with the Ghost Rider event where like for the Ghost Rider event, I like I did every single blitz and I went all the way through all these blitzes. And with that, like for the Colson thing, I was just like, yeah, I'm never going to get this character. So I didn't try as hard uh, because it was like, it was like the most super difficult thing to be able to like, oh yeah, spend gold and, and do this. I'm like, Dude, everything that they're asking for is the things that I do, like, the least. And they're asking for these. And I'm just like, but yeah, but you can get Coulson. I'm like, whatever. I'm like, whatever. I just... Like, what a way to help us out, game. And then they put Coulson in a, like, event that, like... Of course, they put him in, like, the hardest like the thing to just get like shards all the time like is colson like i guess colson is really that like people are just like yeah colson yeah so in other words like this character is gonna probably be super hard to get because everybody's like yeah i want colson so it's gonna like f it so i'm never gonna see this character in the milestone orbs right never gonna see him it's never gonna happen might as well be dead to me. <laughs> he might as well be dead. He probably will be. Just just, just so you guys know. He'll be dead. But uh, at least we have the option of getting him. So we can be happy about that. Um, we have the opportunity. If only they would put... Like... God. Because I, I, I don't want to sound like a broken record. But... God, if only there was, there was some way to just get... Some of those, some of those characters that I mentioned before, just, just come on. Even it up, game. Even it up. People are gonna continue to complain, complain about it. So, give the people what they want. <laughs> give them what they want. How about during Christmas time, you, uh, for a limited time only, you give the people what they want. <laughs> Every single character that everyone complains about for Christmas time as as a deal, give people what they want. Like give for like around Christmas time, give us a Colossus Blitz. Give us a Black Widow Blitz. Give us a Minerva Blitz. So that way you can finally just shut people the F up and just say, hey, we gave you this. If you didn't go into it, then you, <laughs> I gave it to you. 
and you decided not to do these things like hey we gave you a shot and you did not take it so that is on you so yeah you can blame everybody for um for like hey you moaned and groaned about not having these things now we're giving you all these blitzes of all these characters you've ever complained about and and that's what you guys can do as a gift to the to the people that do this thing um that do these games or do this game or whatever you can kind of uh one shut them up and you could also kind of give them like hey this is a gift to you guys here you go <laughs> just do that yeah you like because i don't know what you guys are actually going to do for christmas uh, like, what, are you gonna give us, like, Odin for Christmas? I don't know. Um, I guess we are doing a lot of, uh, Asgardians, so I guess that could be, like, an equivalent to Christmas, but... But, hey, while that is all going on, <laughs> as a Chris Christmas gift to us, you guys can do, um, the blitzes that we've always complained about not having characters for. To shut us up. <laughs> Everybody on social media, whoever has social media and can talk to Marvel Strike Force, get let your voice be heard. Is so that's what they should do. Every character that you've wanted, um, and you're behind on shards for, make your voice be heard on social medias. Let them know. Let them like tell them that hey, uh, it would be nice during Christmas time if you guys could as a gift to the, the as a gift to us like put out another colossus blitz put out another minerva blitz put put out another black widow blitz um and then surefire enough uh if there's any other gripe of anybody else that's like well yeah but i wanted a a, a so-and-so character blitz <laughs> And then, like, then maybe that person will justifiably enough get what they ask for for Christmas. Um, so, yeah. Like, Marvel Strike Force can jokingly, like, just say, like, hey, we're sick of your complaining. <laughs> we're going to make everybody on, on, on the uh, on the not naughty list this season. And, uh, and so no one can freaking complain about this anymore. But I'm not, uh, yeah, because for me, I'm not asking about new characters. I'm not, like, I don't even care about Beast. I really don't. <laughs> I, like, what is he going to do? He's not going to blow my mind. Like, if anything, like, I'm assuming he's probably going to be, like, Rhino 2.0 probably is what I'm assuming Beast is going to be. But I just, I just don't see this character... Like, he's not Cyclops. And, but reasonably, I'm hoping that um, Cyclops' like, shard count doesn't change. Because so many people complain about him. Like, if he was at 45 shards the first time around, keep him at 45 shards. Please do not have this character all of a sudden be 100 shards now. Just because everyone complained about it. Come on, Marvel Strike Force. Like, come on. Um... I'm not asking for Cyclops. I'm just hoping that, um, like, we kind of are all just, like, whenever he comes is whenever he comes. Like, reasonably, I'm not timelining this out and just, I want him by this. No, I don't care when he comes out. I really just, like, there's so many characters that aren't going to bring much to the table. It's not going to be that way. And there's not going to be one character that is going to just buy. I absolutely need this character. Ah! Like, if anything, I'm a very casual player. And so, reasonably, there's not going to be one. Like, it would be nice if they could just set up, like, whatever new characters that they put out. It's just like... Hey guys, if you're struggling through certain kind of campaigns, get this character. Especially if you're newer, newer players or guys that are just struggling through the story. 
get this character. This character will help you through the rest of the story, help you finish it up, and that's kind of that's kind of what I'm liking about Loki right now. That's kind of why what I'm liking about um, Yondu. Um, even a lot of stuff I'm liking about uh, Hello right now. A lot of those kinds of characters that can duplicate themselves. It's really beneficial to get those characters um, to ultimately be able to get through the storylines. They're a big help. They really are. Um, yeah, so even characters like Mysterio and stuff like that, if you guys can eventually uh, get through the Alliance thing, trust me, I have them at like three stars right now. I'm just like, God, what an arduous process it is to get this character. But I wanted to get them because of Jake Gyllenhaal uh, from Far From Home was the only good thing that I liked about that movie. And that was basically it. I was like, of course Jake Gyllenhaal is going to be good in that movie. But that's the only thing good about that movie, realistically, when it comes down to it. It's just it's just a sequel movie that they knew was going to go well. And how, how it seems like a lot of people will just say, like, well, the other one was just better. It's like, well, of course it was. Like, because reasonably they... Because reasonably, they took a lot of time for Homecoming. Um, they had a lot of big name actors in it, uh, more so than in this one, where it's mostly just like Samuel Jackson and Jake Gyllenhaal. No offense to either one of those actors. Those guys, um, when they're there, they're there. But um, but yeah, it was just kind of like like to have Robert Downey Jr. freaking Iron Man in said movie and like that and to have that relationship between um, Iron Man and Spider-Man like and then have that continue throughout other movies is just like that's what that's what ultimately is is the thing that sticks in everyone's mind is just like, well, uh, Iron Man and Spider-Man's relationship like continued past this one movie, so, or continued past Civil War, and that's what I think um, was the real key factor and why Homecoming was so much better than, uh, than anything else, it was just a continuation of story from another film to this one and what have you, but yeah, uh, yeah, so reasonably, I don't know, as far as a wish list for this game, I don't know, I'm just kind of content of where everything's going, I'm, again, I just, I just wish that there was some kind of a quicker paced way of being able to get, um, maybe a character or two uh, at this point, because reasonably, I think we just need this at that <laughs> at this at this kind of like, especially for beginners, but then also just people that are just like, come on, just just give me something. Um, but then also just yeah, as again, everybody go to the Marvel Strike Force Facebook thing or go to any kind of social medias and like say like hey guys realistically new characters f all that like just give us um just give us the blitzes that we complained about for the longest time um give us characters that uh we can't see anywhere put them here and yeah that'll be it so i'm, I'm saying that again just so that way <laughs> We get the word out. We get the word out. Um, and a lot of people will be in the same boat as I am. They're just like, heck yeah. I want, I want, I want those things too. I want to get another star on my Colossus. Or I want to get another star on my Black Widow. Or I want to get another star on my uh, so-and-so character. Um, and reasonably, I think in a Blitz form, like these things won't... Like, you're not going to see just everybody all of a sudden have Colossuses and, and stuff like that. You're not going to see everybody with Black Widows all of a sudden. You're not going to see everyone with uh, 
with Minervas. It's just like... But even if they did, then we would just have to come up with some ways to then counter Minervas then. Um, so yeah. But yeah, uh, supposedly, uh, what is going to eventually be coming in the game, uh, like I had mentioned in the beginning of the, the video, we're gonna get Black Bolt, which I'm like, okay, good. I mentioned in one of the videos that, like, hey, uh, we've had, like, we need some Inhumans in here somewhere. And we're gonna slowly but surely get those in there, but the key factor, uh, in a lot of stuff going on right now is... Uh, as Guardians, we are going to eventually get Heimdall. You can see a picture of him already. Uh, Sith is a Lady Sith is coming. I I want I really want Lady Thor. I I would love I would love me some Lady Thor. I I would rather like I don't understand why not why not Lady Thor. <laughs> I'm kind of heartbroken by that. Uh, I'm just kind of like, uh, I want some Lady Thor, but, but I'm, I'm just, I'll be fine with what we're gonna get. But again, I'm heartbroken. <laughs> Dude, we're having, we're having, we, we, they've already done a thing talking about, uh, Thor Love and Thunder, which is gonna have Natalie Portman's character in a movie. So how we're not getting this, this character eventually coming down the, so... We're eventually going to get this character down the pipeline. Eventually, it's going to happen. Um, I just want I just want a lot of the characters that are from like the the kind of all new different uh, or all new all different kind of Marvel now kind of etched in stone. Like basically saying like I want some new Avengers. Like it would be great if we're not going to get some kind of offshoot brand like the the next avengers or the whatever god Fair. Fair. yeah uh so yeah um those are my thoughts and yeah this team was pretty weak anyways so i can understand being killed uh so yeah please please marvel strike force <laughs> um since you have too many characters to give us now, uh, could we please just have some kind of trickle of something? Uh, I would really appreciate it. Yeah, I have a I have a boatload of kind of uh, objectives, daily objectives to kind of go through, but please, hear us. <laughs> Listen to the voices of the peoples. Um, I, I would adamantly just be enthralled like considering the whole stupid bizarro star lord thing how to get me back in the good graces of things um kind of uh like if you guys have seen all the like the characters that i'm just like so close i am so close at getting god if they want to get me back into the good graces of them like give me blitzes of all these characters that are harder to get and then I will be back on board. Uh, I will be like, just like, yeah, <laughs> somebody out there was listening and what have you. But thank you for watching this. Thank you for listening to this. Uh, my usual rants while blitzing. I don't know if I'm going to really um, go all out to get Sin Mr. Sinister. I kind of casually did the, the blitz the first time around because reasonably it's like, they kind of made it abundantly clear that you're not going to be able to easily get this character. So already it just kind of feels like, okay, so this was a waste of time. Uh, if they're going to throw him in the like arena store afterwards or something like that, uh, I think that would be fine. I don't know if this character is a real, true, legitimate threat enough to not just throw in a, a blitz or a arena store somewhere but it's been a very long time since we've had additions to the blitz or arena store it's been a while uh if anything i would have to um there's one video that i show like juggernaut and mantis and and you can kind of timeline uh that on a video is realistically when they really added 
stuff into the store or not. There might be some other videos where I talk about uh, changes to the stores or whatever. I think um, maybe Mbaku was added to the arena store and then somebody else was added to the Blitz store or whatever. But um, but yeah, but that seems to have been a while. We're getting all these crazy new characters. Throw them into a store. Why not? Especially the ones, again, we're moaning and groaning about. Come on, Marvel Strike Force. is a Christmas gift to us all. Um, just to say, happy holidays, mother effers. <laughs> you can just put that on there and we'll be good. So, uh, yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody.